able to convert images to icon so first of all we have to have the image icon converter installed then when that's done I'm not going to launch mine yet I have to create my image first so I'm using PowerPoint. You may use any software you wish, any software of your choice. So this is the image I want to use for my icon. So this, if it's smaller, it makes it easier to be converted. So when you are done. Well, if you are using a PNG image like I am using, you would need to give it a background of which its color will be different from the image color. I'm using, let me say, blue. Let me save mine as image. Let me give it a nice outline. The same with its color. Okay. Then we'll save it as an image. Save as picture. Show it to the desktop. And then we we'll name it, let me just say um, PC test. Okay. And then before we move on, we we'll have to install the just color picker. Well, the links are all in, the, in the description. Okay. So get the color code of this. You place your mouse here and then it reads it, it reads it here then we press alternative x and then the value of that color is copied here so you cram this 91115216 so we'll be needing that later so we open the image icon converter now Then try wizard. Then click OK. Select the image to icon option and then click next. Add file. Then locate the file that's in the desktop. So this is it. And then next. Well, I would suggest you use either the Windows XP colors or the 256 indexed color because they have a better, you know, conversion quality. So I'll just select this. If you select this, you're only going to get a black and white image. So I'll select this. And I'll put it as, as is. Select this option. And then next, change specified color to transparent. And then that color code we copied, I think 91, 155. Oh, come on. Let's check it again. 213. Okay. Yes. And then, okay. Then you select the left button and then as is. Click next, next, then we're done. Open destination folder. This is it here. Which is also on the desktop here. The icon. Yes, this is it. This is it here. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. But we can also use it for our programming.
first of all I'm going to launch the demo application so this is the icon of the application here to insert it you click this icon option and then locate the icon which is this one over here so when we launch this application yes this is it here thank you for watching please like if you find this content helpful if you have a question or you'd like me to do a tutorial please let me know in the comment section right down below and don't forget to subscribe to receive a notification when the video is dropped